a joint air offensive leading to a tragic strike on a deteriorating mood in Afghanistan. The operation backed by Afghan troops took place late on Sunday in the southeastern Paktika province, close to the border with Pakistan. The jets were said to be targeting a suspected Al-Qaeda compound, which also contained a mosque and an Islamic school. A statement from the international forces said, Coalition forces confirmed the presence of nefarious activity occurring at the site before getting approval to conduct an airstrike on the location. They insist that surveillance on the compound showed no indication there were civilians inside. They condemned the cowardice of the militants, saying they used the children as a shield. The rapid release of the statement suggests they expect criticism, with anger already increasing over the rising number of civilians killed in such foreign-led strikes. President Hamid Karzai has repeatedly asked international forces to try to minimize casualties. Faced with resurgent Taliban attacks, growing insecurity and lack of economic development, Karzai has warned that civilian deaths would have dangerous consequences for his government and troops. Just hours before the airstrike, a Taliban suicide bomber blew up a police bus during the morning rush in the heart of Kabul, killing more than 35 people. Nearly 6,000 have been killed in Afghanistan over the past 17 months, and this latest bloodshed will be disconcerting news on the streets of Kabul. Paul Byrne, Russia Today.